हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन फॉर क्लास टेंथ चैप्टर टू एक्सरसाइज टू पॉइंट टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टू फर्स्ट आई एम रीडिंग द स्टेटमेंट लिसन केयरफुली फाइंड ए क्वाड्रेटिक पोलिनोमियल ईच विद द गिवन नंबर्स एज सम एंड प्रोडक्ट ऑफ इट जीरो रिस्पेक्टिवली देर आर सिक्स पार्ट फर्स्ट पार्ट इज सम ऑफ जीरो एंड दिस सेकेंड पार्ट इज प्रोडक्ट ऑफ जीरो Let we assume our polynomial. Let the polynomial be a x square plus b x plus c, and its zero we assume as alpha and beta. First is given sum of zero, and the second part is product of zero. Means alpha plus beta is one by four, and alpha multiply beta is minus one, and we make the polynomial. Which will be x square minus sum of zero into x plus product of zero. You learn this. Okay. Now we will fill this sum of zero one by four here. X square minus one by four. Sum of zero is one by four into x and product of zero is minus one. We will write here minus one. Now x square minus one by four x minus one will be the polynomial. If you want to take the LCM, another polynomial you can make like that. Another polynomial that it is a k into x square minus one by four x minus one. If k is equal to four, either you take LCM as a four, then it will be Polynomial will be four x square minus x minus four. Here k value is four, so our polynomial is this. This is also right, and this is also right. Now next part. Here our sum of zero is root two, and product of zero is one by three, and our polynomial is a x square plus b x plus c. Okay. Now polynomial will be x square minus into sum of zero into x into product of zero. X square sum of zero is root two, and product of zero is one by three, and you can take LCM root three uh, will be LCM, and it will be three x square minus. Root because here nothing is there, so one will be there. Here will be three root two x and plus one, and this three will be cancelled. This three will be the value of k like previous sum I have told you. If k is a three, then our polynomial is three x square three root two x plus one. That is our polynomial. Now third part. In third part, sum of zero is zero and product of zero is five. I fill this here. Sum of zero is zero and product of zero is root five. And I put this value in this x square minus zero into x and product of zero is root five. When you solve it, zero multiply x zero will be there. Nothing you can write. Zero you can't write. Okay. And then root five. That is your polynomial. Now fourth part. In fourth part, sum of zero is one, product zero is one. I write alpha plus beta means sum of zero is one, product of zero is one. Now our polynomial will be x square minus sum of zero into x plus product of zero. X square minus one. Into x and product of zero is one. Our polynomial will be x square minus x plus one. Now fifth part. In fifth part, sum of zero is given minus one by four, and product of zero is given one by four. Now we will fill this value in this equation. X square minus one by four. Into x 
and product of 0 is 1 by 4. You can write this polynomial as x square plus 1 by 4 by 1 by 4. And another polynomial, another polynomial k into x square plus 1 by 4x plus 1 by 4. If you take k value as 4, then polynomial will be 4x square plus x plus 1. Here we have taken anything either this 4 multiplied by x square, 4 multiplied by 1 by 4x and 4 multiplied by 1 by 4, 1. We get our equation like that. Now 6 part. In 6 part sum of 0 is given 4 and product of 0 is given 1. And our polynomial will be x here minus sum of zeros into x plus product of 0. x here sum of 0 is given 4 into x and product of 0 is 1. And this will be your polynomial whose sum of 0 is 4 and product of 0 is 1. Only learn this formula and we will practice this sum and there is a no problem very easy sum are there and hope you will understood thank you